Today we're going to talk about loading data from files. Um, I'm going to show you a few different ways, so hang tight. First step is we are going to add um, an Excel file. So we're going to import a single file. So I'm going to click on Import File, and I'm going to choose my file type. In this case, I'm going to add a spreadsheet, an Excel spreadsheet. Um, I have a sample piece of data already set up, so I'm going to add it. And we see that it came over. We know that um, just by looking at this, that the header is probably not what I want. So I'm going to say that the columns do, don't have headers. So I can check this box, click Apply. Um, and my data has been reformatted so that it looks correct. Um, there are a few other options too, if we look at this. I could add a column with a sheet name. I could, which is gonna show that the data came from sheet one. I could skip the first line, which is gonna change that, depending on what I wanna do. Um, I could also move uh, information around. Maybe this would be a very wide spreadsheet. Then I may want to right click and say fit to contents, and I'm gonna see it move. So it's nice and clean. Um, I did that via the add data function, but I could also grab a spreadsheet. I could grab the same spreadsheet or Excel file and import it just by dragging and dropping and do those same things. Um, another thing that's very common is that we would potentially want to import uniform files. I know that these are two uniform files. So I'm gonna show another way by right click add action, and I can say the import, and I can say import spreadsheet. This option right here is uh, a way for me to designate if I want to load a single file or load multiple uniform files. I'm going to load multiple uniform files. So I'm going to select my files. And the first step is getting to the right location. It's in my desktop and sample folders. And then I can select both of my files or select all. So I could have, you know, a couple dozen or thousands. I'm then going to click OK. And it's the same uniform across, so it's the same sheet, it's the same workbook names, everything is the same. But when you import it, it looks a little goofy. Um, so one might say, this doesn't work right. But what actually happened is it's because our data doesn't have any headers. So if I say the columns don't have any headers, now I get a nice, neat, organized way of doing this. And that is um, a way of loading it up in multiple, uh, multiple uniform files. And then I could even begin filtering this and starting my manipulations. And that is loading data from files.